Coach El Jezri, thanks for the time. Uh, the Falcon Open last weekend, a, a good event for your team. Very good. I'm very satisfied with what the team did. Everybody fence uh, really hard. Everybody fought one bout at a time, one touch at a time. So I'm proud of all of them. Also, it was a great turnover. In a very short period, we had uh, around 250 fencers joined us. And uh, in a short period, also for preparation, the team did pretty well. So I'm very proud of the, my team. Very well. You got uh, seven individuals, got championships, two on the junior side. Let's talk more about the senior open. Um, some of the names that you really saw perform well. Yes, as you said, we have six uh, senior events. We managed to win five of them. We only didn't win the Sabre women's, and we had the second place, so still great. And um, I'm going to highlight a couple of fencers who did really, really good, outstanding performance. Uh, Ignacio uh, Magoff, our freshman uh, foil, uh, foil fencer, and uh, Matthew Hahn, our freshman epi fencer. What specifically about the way they performed did you like? I mean, you already mentioned they didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this event, but were they fine-tuned already? or? I believe their mental game was very strong. They were coming very focused. They, st they stressed, both of them stressed on what we worked on the past month. And uh, specifically, Matthew Hahn, he really stepped up because I was expecting one of the upperclassmen to win the event, but he, he really stepped up and showed a great performance. As far as upperclassmen, uh, Matthew Good did a great job and won his event. Absolutely. Matthew showed a uh, great performance. He's, he's very conf consistent with that event. Proud of his performance. Was some uh, uh, hard moment for him, but he turned those and he did amazing performance, won the final, and it was a very good bout for him. On the ladies' side, I know you had some fencers who weren't able to fence due to injuries and whatnot, but uh, Landweir did a great job and won her event. Yes, um, Helen has been doing, had been doing that event, I'm assuming, six or seven times because she's local, she's from Colorado, so I'm pretty sure she did it over four times. This is her, her uh, senior year, so I'm very proud of her to win that event in her senior year, so that was a great mental power from her to pull that event and to win it. Yeah. Uh, if, it feels like, are your feet on the ground yet? Because you haven't been here that long. You've already got an event under you. I guess just how are you feeling about the program overall? I feel good. I, as I mentioned before, it was a shorter period to prepare, but I have a young team and we have a hungry staff. So I'm, I'm excited for the next period and we will see what will happen. We talked last time and you said your philosophy is three three ways, right? The physical, the mental, and the emotional. Mm -hmm. As far as this was like their first time out, did you see some things that your your fencers need to work on? Definitely we'll work more on physical now because we didn't have the time to work on that. It was three weeks before the event. So definitely we'll stress on that. We get a long period to work on our uh, big NCAA meet or the next one it's going to be mid November so you have time and uh, we'll get a couple other uh, smaller event we might just send for experience send our fencers for experience so we'll see from there but uh, the mental and the emotional part was very very good I'm proud of the all the fencers who did uh, very well at this competition it's good to see coach Al Jazri thanks for the time thank you very much